Challenge number eight is the resistance to change. We see this resistance to change in many aspects of uh, human life. We tend, as humans or as devotees, to just think, uh, well, we always have done uh, in this way, and um, why we should change? Hmm? There are different studies, and uh, innovators are very, very few. Sometimes they say 2.5% of people are really innovators. People who try new things, avant-garde, trailblazers. Hmm? Then there are the early adopters. The idea is not yet so established, but they see the potential, they follow the innovators, and, and they start doing. So when an idea works, and I'm talking about any idea or any product uh, in the world, then there is the early majority. Generally, is about a third of all uh, uh, people. Early majority. It's not super established, but has got momentum, has got some examples, so this early majority feels uh, comfortable enough. Yeah, it's working, let, let us do it. Then there is the early, there is a late majority, when the thing is well established, they also come on board. And there are some who are the, considered the laggards, who lag behind, and uh, they never accept, they never change. So we need to see why we are resisting, if you are resisting, I don't know. If you are resisting Bhaktivikshya, is this your challenge? It could be the main challenge. Maybe you have some program going on, you have some home programs, you have some bhajans, uh, some informal namahata, and yeah, the devotees are happy to see each other, they spend some time with each other. They may not feel the need to add anything, the need to change. but. History has shown that those type of groups generally don't provide all the growth and the dynamic thrust that the Bhaktivikshā provides. Now, we are not saying that other things are not good in Krishna consciousness, in congregational development, in home uh, bhakti. Uh, everything is, is good, you know, chanting Hare Krishna, taking prasad, spending time reading the scriptures or listening to a lecture. But Bhaktivikshā, we have seen that as the potential to engage people more effectively, to develop more their leadership, to be better at uh, integrating new people and at empowering people to take responsibility. And when they do that, they actually grow spiritually much, uh, in a much faster way. So, we invite you to consider, are you resisting change just for resistance sake? Because that may be your challenge. And uh, we need to understand, in life sometimes we make uh, big changes. Sometimes we get married, which is a big, big change. We have children, which is a big, big change. Sometimes we change uh, our jobs, which is an already a great uh, change. So when we are looking at the community, how we are arranging, organizing the congregation, we should seriously consider that maybe the Bhaktivikshā is something that could improve individually and collectively the experience of your community. So give it a try. Hare Krishna.